Good morning, you guys. This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Perhaps you decide you're everybody in between. Don't forget basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it does not apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Okay, so um, I received a channel message this morning. It's 7.03 a.m., 9-12-2022. Um, I hope everybody's doing well. I do. Okay, so the channel message I received. Oh, I'm open for personal readings, but I will not do your reading if I feel your energy is off. I just want to let everybody know. The uh, information is in the description box below. Yes, I am. Okay, so the channel message I received was um, someone wants to apologize to you is what I heard. I heard, but they don't need to apologize to you. What they need to do is make an official report is all I heard. So you plug in how it resonates. How that resonates. I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Um, now, I feel you could be the one they want to apologize to or the one that needs to make an official report. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else, but somebody wants to apologize to you. So a person they want to apologize to, but I heard they don't need to apologize to you. What they need to do is make an official report. So, it, you know, you have to play yourself in where you fit. I feel for a majority of you guys, you're this person, the person they want to apologize to. But for some, you could be the one they want to make the official report, uh, the one that needs to make the official report. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, so they want to apologize to you. They want to take the time and energy to apologize to you. So they want to try to put some feelings and emotions in it. But they need to make an official report. Meaning there's some kind of crime there or there's the, there's some kind of crime there. In some shape, form, or fashion. Is what I'm presuming. Um, there's a reason they should make an official report instead of... Um, Instead of apologizing to you. So there's some kind of crime or crimes. Is what I'm presuming. You are a truth speaker. And always have been. Okay, I heard you're a truth speaker and you always have been. So you're a truth speaker and you always have been, whoever you are. You're a truth speaker and you always have been. Um, so now somebody wants to come and apologize to you. Um, you were targeted, bullied, gang stalked, and harassed. And your civil rights were stomped on. You were targeted, bullied, harassed. You were targeted, bullied, and harassed, and gang stalked, and your civil rights were stomped on. So that's why they want to come apologize to you. Well, then maybe they should make an official report for whatever the hell they need to make the official report on. Now you can make official reports for many things. Uh, whatever the hell they need to make an official report on, I don't know. Only these people know their story, not anybody else. It could, they could, the official report could be on a person, it could be on a situation, it could be on, it could be um, on somebody's licensure, it could be reporting a police officer, it could be a CPS report, it could be a, um, I'm trying to think what else, it could be um, a police, I said police report, reporting a police officer uh, for uh, inappropriate conduct. Um, it could be, um, many things. It could be many things, uh, report on somebody's licensure, um, what have you, what have you, but it, it could be many things is what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to think what else you can make a report on. CPS, Child Protective Services, um, what have you, what have you. Number 24, 50 could be very significant numbers, adjacent possibilities, uh, strength, angel strength.
Somebody is about to get important communication soon. Important communication regarding the past. It's about to help you out in a huge way. Someone's about to get important communication regarding the past. It's about to help you out in a huge way. So whoever you are, you're about to get important communication regarding the past in some shape, form, or fashion. I heard it's about to help you out in a huge way. And an older Gemini masculine and an older Taurus masculine is about to start experiencing huge health issues. Huge health issues. This is actually about to benefit you behind the scenes in a huge way. They wronged you in a huge way in the past. Okay, an uh, older Gemini masculine and an older Taurus masculine. I heard they're about to start experiencing huge health issues. Um, but it doesn't sound like they're around you in your energetic space. Whoever you are, it doesn't sound like they're around you. It sounds, and a Pisces masculine, older. And an older Pisces masculine. So older Pisces masculine, older Gemini masculine, and older Taurus masculine. All masculines, they could have Pisces, Taurus, or Gemini, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Royal Thumb, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. All older, all masculine. So I'm thinking 35, 36 or above. But for a lot of these people, I feel they're much older. For some reason, I didn't hear that. I just intuitively sense they're much older. But I heard they're about to start having huge health issues. And uh, it's about to actually benefit you behind the scenes. So, uh, and I think this is you... Uh, about to receive important communication about the past. I think you have adjacent possibilities. Um, I think this might be job offers. Uh, well, I heard it's important communication about the past. So it, it's something, whatever it is, it's something very important about the past. Something regarding adjacent possibilities. Uh, somebody's going to have strength to send this to you, I'm presuming. Or somebody, oh, that's what I'm feeling. But you plug it in how it resonates. How that resonates, okay? And then we got three masculine energies about to uh, start experiencing serious health issues. Some of these people will end up in the hospital. Some of these people will end up in the hospital is what I heard. So some of these people will end up in the hospital. And one will end up jailed. And one, and one will end up jailed. Uh, so some of these will end up in the hospital and at least one will end up jailed. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, these older masculine energies, they have wronged you in some shape, form, or fashion, whoever they are, Taurus masculine, Gemini masculine, um, and Pisces masculine. They have wronged you and they're older. They have wronged you in some shape, form, or fashion. And through many series of chain of events, one of these people will end up passing away. EMS. And through many series of chain of events, one of these people will end up passing away. EMS. And through many series of chain of events, one of these people will end up passing away. Emergency medical services. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, how that resonates and applies. Oh, man. And a Virgo masculine. And a Virgo masculine. And a Virgo. The Virgo masculine is a very heavy alcoholic. Very heavy. His health is about to decline in huge ways very quickly. Very, very, very quickly. Very quickly. And a Virgo masculine. Two, um, he can have Virgo in any aspects of his charts, but the Virgo masculine is alcoholic, and he can be 35, 36 or above. Um, I'm feeling for a lot of those Virgo masculines, he's probably they're probably much older, but you plug it in how it resonates. But I heard he's an alcoholic though. He's a heavy alcoholic, and basically um, he will end up um, in severe health issues. Severe. So you plug it in how it resonates, and you relied on in the past. And people said you were a drug, drug addict, and an alcoholic. 
but you're not. And through many series of chain of events, you're about to get lots of information that's going to help you out in a huge way. Okay, so you, okay, so here's the thing. Somebody lied on you and said you were a drug addict alcohol, and an alcoholic in the past, but the thing is, is, or you're not. But if you're not, okay, so somebody lied on you behind your back, called behind your back and said you were a drug addict and alcoholic. Okay, here's the thing. If somebody lies on you behind your back and gossips and says you're a drug addict and alcoholic, it doesn't, that doesn't weight anything. What weights is you taking a, a, a drug test um, or a breathalyzer. That's what weights or an alcohol screening or what have you, what have you. That is what matters. I heard you're not. So they can gossip behind the scenes all fucking day long and say you're a drug addict and an alcoholic till the cows come home. But when you uh, when you take that drug screening or that alcohol screening or what have you, what have you, or blow on that breathalyzer, it's going to be proven you're not a drug addict or an alcoholic and it's going to make them look like the liars. They have already been, they have already been exposed as huge ass liars and they will continue to be. They complain about how their life is so bad. But they make it that way. Oh, my God. Okay, I heard they've already been exposed for the huge liars that they are. And they will continue to be. So, they lied. They slandered your name. Defamate, defamed your character. And basically said, you were a drug addict and an alcoholic. But you're not, I heard. And like I said, it's the test that proves it. it if you're peeing, uh, drug test, urine screen, hair follicle test, what have you, what have you. However you take the test. You're not a drug addict or an alcoholic. You're just not, period, point blank. And whoever you are, you're not. So these low vibrational ass people, gossip Bettys, gossip gals, and liars, basically, um, the only reason they're gossiping about you is to try to make people look badly upon you. That's exactly what it was. That's exactly what it was. That's what I heard. That's confirmation. That's exactly what it was. So, yeah. Well, so what? So what they're gossiping? What matters is if you're asked to take a drug screening. If you're asked to take an alcohol screening, if you're asked to take the blood test, the urine test, the hair follicle screening, that's what matters. And what matters is if you're not trying to sneak little vials of somebody else's urine into some um, between your boobs to go in to do it. Just saying, just saying. I mean it. Um, but I heard they've already been exposed. They're going to continue to be exposed. And their asses should be. Some of these people are alcoholics and drug addicts. Some of these people are alcoholics and drug addicts. So some, they are alcoholics and drug addicts. So they lied on you and said you were alcoholic and drug addict. But it's really them. Whoa, how classy is that? Not? Damn. In someone's polyamorous marriage is about to fall apart, and someone's polyamorous relationship is about to fall apart. There are many series of chain of events. It's, um, I know my boobs are all out, but I like the shirt just saying. Um, in someone's polyamorous relationship um, is about to fall apart, and somebody's polyamorous marriage is about to fall apart. I don't judge, man. If you want to be in polyamory, you can be in polyamory till the cows come home. But I would never want to be in polyamorous relationship. Ever, 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 ever. That's against my... I'm a monogamous person. Period, point blank. For me. Um, now, everybody's different. I don't judge people's preferences. But somebody uh, is in a polyamorous relationship so they're not legally married to the person. I, got them sued. I don't know how that works. I don't know how that works in different states and areas or what have you, what have you. I don't, I don't know, man, because I'm not in polyamory. So I don't know if you can legally marry them all or just one. <laughs> I hell, I don't know. Because <laughs> I'm not, one, I'm not legally married. And two, I'm not in polyamory. So I don't know. But however that resonates, 
Um, somebody's polyamorous relationship. I don't feel they're legally married or maybe not legally married to them all. Maybe because you can't. I don't know. Um, um, it's about to fall apart and somebody's polyamorous marriage is about to fall apart. So they are married, but I don't know how that works, man. I don't know. <laughs> One relationship is, a, is enough for me and that's just the truth. One is enough. Um, and that's just the damn truth. Um, much less everybody else and mama up their business. And that's just the fucking truth. Yikes. And a school counselor is about to find out about a child, teenage child, incest. Incest regarding the teenage child. High vibrational school counselor. They're about to call child protective services in other areas. It's the parent. Oh my God Almighty. And we've got incest, a parent incesting with a child, a teenage child. That's sick as shit. Um, that's sick as shit. A parent incesting with a teenage child. I heard a high vibrational school counselor is about to find this out soon through many series of shame events. So this high vibrational counselor does not agree with this, I'm presuming. And there's child abuse. You might need to hear that. There's child abuse. Um, and that's just the truth. And it's the parent incesting with the teenage child. I heard through many series of shame events. Um, they're going to call child protection services and other areas. And yeah, they should. If somebody else is about to make a very important re uh, report to child protective services too. Regarding incest and abuse of the child. And somebody else. So one of you guys or somebody else connected to you. Or somebody about to come across this video. How that resonates. And by the way, thanks for all the new subscribers. Just saying. We're almost at 14,300. Just saying. And somebody else said... Um, is about to make a report uh, on incest uh, regarding a child. And I'm assuming a parent or an adult. Of that uh, Well, incest, incest, it's in the family. Incest, it's in the family. So on a child and a uh, family member. How that resonates. That's sick, man. In that aspect, the adjacent possibilities is uh, some sick-ass adult pedophile thinking they can uh, peruse with all the fucking kitties. That's sick in the head. That's and they need mental health treatment. Is what is what they need. All right, I love you guys, everybody. Um, oh, hold on a second. And through many series of chain events, someone will be mental health institutionalized, whether they want to be or not. And through many series of crimes, huge crimes, huge crimes. Okay. Incest is the nastiest, unmoralizing thing ever. And that's just the truth. It really is. It really is. And the fire sign feminine is really changing her perspective on things in a huge way. And the fire sign fem is really changing her perspective on things in a huge way. Aries Leo Sagittarius, whoever you are, Aries Leo Sag, you could have Aries Leo Sag in your sun moon rising Venus. North Node in Hammond Jupiter Charts. You're changing your perspective on something. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's incest. I don't know if it's um there's a lot of report energy in here and a lot of kids. I'll tell you that. A lot of kids, a lot of reporting, and a lot of incest. Um, and that is sick as hell. And that's I will tell y'all before I close the reading. That is one reason why this city and this state hates my ass. Is because they support incest. They support inbreeding. They support incest. And they support abuse of children, i.e. incest and inbreeding. I stand up against it. And I don't care if I'm hated around here. And that's just the damn truth. I don't give a shit. I don't care. Because it's not right. And hashtag protect the kids. Be my niece to hear that. All right. I love you guys. Everybody have a wonderful day. And namaste.